Hi, welcome to this Unreal Engine tutorial today. What I'm going to be showing you is how to make a power like flash time from the comics or the TV show or movies. So with that said, I'm going to show you a little demo of what it looks like in game. Okay, so basically we can move around and then I can move fast around them, but they're still moving. So it's, it's basically using the flash's power of time perception. Um, so with that said, I'm going to get into it, but I wanted to uh, let you know that I'm not going to be showing you how to connect the nodes. I'm just going to give you the logic, explain it, and then let you copy paste the logic of the nodes versus me actually dragging and stuff as it's just waste time and you already know how to connect nodes together. So with that said, I'm going to show you how I made this little AI real quick. So it's basically on a timer for begin play. It's just a AI character. Okay. It's going to move to using the AI move to node on a random navigable radius from the active location with a radius of 500. So that just lets it move around in a random location. Okay, so that's how it does that. Now the third person character, this is where the time logic comes in, the flash time logic. Okay, so I have it on a right mouse button, but you can use any input you want. And basically when we press the button or the key, we want to set global time dilation to something slow. So normally it's at one, that's its default. I'm setting it to 0 0.1, you can do 0 0.3, 0 0.2, freeze time, which would be 0, 0.0, etc. Okay, and then what we need to do is, this is a, a node that comes with Unreal, it's a variable. So if we get the self, get reference to self, and then we type in get or set custom time dilation. This is what you can, you can use this with actors and characters, and it'll make them faster or slower than the actual current time dilation. So you can actually use this in like standard time and make them slower, which is pretty cool. So that's a cool uh, little thing that you can do. But we're gonna use this to speed up the player while everyone else is slow. So the reason I'm doing 10.0 is because the time dilation is 0.1 and we need to make our character equal one, which means we need to multiply 0.1 by 10 and that'll give us one, okay? Because if we put this at one, it'll only be like 0.2 on the time dilation so the character would still be slow. Okay, and then on released, we're going to set the time dilation back to one, which is default, and then we're gonna set the custom time dilation for the character back to one, which is default. And that'll give us a button hold effect where we get, as soon as we let go of the mouse button, it will set it back to normal, as, hold, as we hold it, it will do it back to the actual uh, slow time. Okay, now the reason I'm doing the custom time dilation is it in slow time, Typically, your character will move slow, and that's not very fun. Like, you don't want your character moving super slow when you're, you know, trying to run around at super speed or whatever. Um, so that's basically how you make it. If you like this video, hit the sub button and the like button, and thank you for watching.